Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm giving you guys the video that I had promised, which is a what fits and how I'm liking the Polen number no. 9 mini, which I did just get a few days ago and I've been using it every day since. I did manage to get the strap on with a little help from others uh, and it's been on and it's been on pretty well. So the reason I was having a hard time was because it goes on the bag like this instead of the little usual uh, lobster claw type of thing. So you just take this little button out of here and it goes through the little leather piece and the little piece was just a little bit hard when I first got it which is fine and to be expected and it is the same on both sides. Anyway, so again, here's just a quick overview of the bag. It is really beautiful. I'm loving the colors. Well, the color, there's only one color. <laughs> so this is it. The stitching is gorgeous. It's really soft and it's really nice, but it is strong enough to hold up its shape, at least so far. This is not the side that says Polen. It is on the other side. It does only say it on one side and it does say it on the hardware where the strap attaches really nice doesn't have any feet as I mentioned in the first video and here is the symbol for the one here is the bottom I put it down on a couple of surfaces uh, nothing dirty or crazy and I always like check where I put my bag down so it's never really a matter of let me get dirty at the bottom just because I wasn't paying attention. Well, so far, so good, but I did just get it. It's been less than a week. All right, so make a long story short, let's just get into what's in here. And this is the stuff that I've been using uh, all week. So first things first, I do have my phone in here. It is the Galaxy S23 Ultra. I did put a different case on it. This is a lot more slippery than the rubbery one I was originally using, which gave us a hard time trying to put it in because this is a little bit rubbery but not necessarily it's leathery and then this is um the other one was rubbery so it kind of didn't play well together anyway so this is what I have in there and then let's see I have I have this in here which is the little wallet that I had purchased from Etsy from someone in Greece and in here is extraneous um, cards and cash because it doesn't fit in my little Polen card holder, which I'll talk about in a little bit. But it, this is also big enough to hold my charger. So instead of my little plastic Louis Vuitton thing that I normally use, I'm just putting the charger in here. And it's really given me a little bit more real estate within the, my bag. So it is being <clears throat> very helpful. So that second little wallet, let's see what else we got, if anything. Okay, this is my key pouch that I'm currently using. My keys are literally just in here. They are all separated <laughs> because I just took them out of my six ring key holder because that thing was just annoying me. It's just annoying to have to actually use it because I have like four keys that I have to use every single time I get in and out of the house and I'm just like, I'm so sick and tired of this. And plus it's small, so. It's not going to make the keys look bulky or anything and take up a lot of space. Okay, <clears throat> okay. so next I have the Polen card holder that I was talking to you guys about. I still think it is smaller than your standard card holder. I don't know if that's true or if I'm just making it up. But what I did do for you guys is take out my Louis Vuitton. Um, black leather, noir apprehend, or whatever, however you say it. And this is what I was using before I was using this one. Um, and this one was able to hold everything in here and the stuff that's in this. So, I don't know if this is just like more malleable, more easy to stretch and move and do things with, but... If we look at it together, you can kind of see 
that there is a bit of a size um, difference. Not nothing crazy, but enough to just give me that slight extra space so that I was able to fit a laminated card and like even cash. Right now, the black one is obviously empty. <clears throat> and this is just filled up with like my everyday cards and my ID and stuff like that. So you can like, you can see the pull is completely hidden behind it. So it is smaller. So I guess there isn't like a standard size. Hold on, I'm trying to get this to make sense. A standard size that card holders are supposed to be. I don't know. Maybe they are, maybe they aren't. Maybe it doesn't really matter. Maybe it's based off the material because this material <clears throat> is a little bit more, I don't know, what is it? It's, it's not as supple, I guess you can see, because this is actually very, very soft. And it's just, you know, it just seems like it will bend with you and whatever you put in here. I don't know if it was like that when I first got it, but using it definitely made it soften up. But, you know, either way, this one's smaller and it holds less, but it is still very nice. And it's also very good that it's smaller because it just makes it easier to fit into small bags like these. So, <clears throat> so if you're not bothered by, <clears throat> sorry, if you're not bothered by needing like a second card holder or something else to just hold like your extraneous cards and things, and this is cute. And it, it's pretty inexpensive for what it is and considering it is so nice. It's very minimalist, it's just beautiful, very Parisian inspired, and we love that. All right, so let's see what else is in here. Oh, uh, I just have a bunch of loose things. Just some chapsticks and some like Advil holder. I have those loose because I was trying to um, use my um, mini pochettes that I normally always take with me, but that's not much smaller than this bag. So it took up a lot of space really quickly. And yeah, I did put everything in it, like all the extra cards and my chapstick and my pills and like everything in it. But it still wasn't stretched, it still wasn't bulking, but it was just still taking up more room than I cared for it to do. So I just threw the little things to the side. And then I just have my um, uh, coin purse. Very filled up, very heavy. Oh, what else? Yeah, I mean, I guess that's nothing else at this point. That's everything out. And again, there's no pockets, there's no side slip. There's nothing in here. It's essentially just a black hole, but I did get the mini version, so it's not as big of a black hole as what you would expect. But yeah, I mean, it's really nice. It does have <clears throat> blue tape around these bits, <clears throat> but uh, I'm gonna take it off. I don't know when. I don't know if it's gonna take um, like some struggle to get it off or maybe not. I'll take it off now if I could get a grip on it. <laughs> but, you know, I haven't thought to take it off until I saw it just now. Anyway, it's, it's giving me a hard time, but I'll do that in a little bit. And both sides has the blue, so that's how you know it's new and um, just perfect and just ready for you to use it. Um, I am loving it. I do find what well, one con that I do have, <clears throat> I don't know if it's just me because I have like a nerve issue when it comes to my right shoulder and that's where I always hold my bag because I'm right-handed. Uh, with just these little few items inside of the bag, this strap kind of hits me or like digs into a part of my shoulder that kind of makes it numb or like makes it hurt to where I have to just grab it by the top handle for a little bit just to take the pressure off my shoulders. And I don't know if that's just because this is a bit thin, but I do find that when I have thick straps, that doesn't happen, even if the bag is very heavy. So I think it's just the thin strap for me that's not really um, doing the best for me. But you know, at the same time, how heavy can you really make this tiny bag? I mean, for other people, like outside of me. <laughs> but really that's the only con. If, if I wanted to sit here and give you more cons, I mean, it's, it's just a small bag. 
So it's a small bag and like that's what you have to deal with. So you have to understand getting in and out of it. It's not going to be easy. And if you have a lot of things that you need to carry, it's not necessarily going to be the most practical. <clears throat> but I do think it's beautiful and I do like it. I like the big one as well, but I feel because of the shape, this sort of shape in like a much larger scale would look very awkward on my body because I'm not very tall. I'm like 5'2", so it would really stick out. Like it would stick out on anybody. It doesn't even really matter at that point how tall you are. It's going to stick out <laughs> because it's not the kind of bag that you lean against you and then you smush it down. It stays like this. It's structured. So I th just think the smaller one is just a lot more eye-catching. It's a lot more elegant. The big one kind of gives it like a frumpy, dumpy look. Um, that's just my opinion. I don't have it, but from watching other people's comparisons, that's just something I've noticed. And just knowing the overall difference in sizes. It's still nice as a big bag if you use it as like just like on your hand or something like that. But as a crossbody or even a shoulder bag, I think it would stick out way too much. But that's just what I think, having had bags that were big on the bottom, similar to this in the past. Um, but yeah, no, anyway, guys, um, I do really overall like it. I'd give it like eight and a half out of 10 for all the reasons that I've already explained to you. Um, it's a pretty inexpensive brand for the luxury and the quality that you're getting. Uh, yeah, there's not really much else that I could say about it. It is really nice. Give them a try if you're interested. I don't think you'll be disappointed. I've yet to hear any horror stories. I've yet to see anybody order and be unhappy with their order for any reason. There are never really any stitching issues or color issues or anything like that. As far as anyone said, in my personal experience, there's nothing. So that's pretty much all that I have for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think. You know, like, comment, subscribe for me. And stick around for my next videos. Not sure what they'll be or when they will be, but they'll be there. <laughs> anyway, take care, guys. Bye.